All right, so let's fix this dragon claw. Run, 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 run! <laughs> it's just me, dude. Come on, get off the PCP and come shoot some HDB 68 with me. Do we have steel ammo at least? Of course we have steel ammo. Come on, let's go. All right. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. So as I'm still waiting on my ballistic dummy, which was supposed to arrive this week, um, I thought that instead we make a video on the good old HDB 68. Given that Umarex has finally released it in mass to the world, finally. So I thought I could be helpful to you guys by showing you a whole variety of ammo that is available for this awesome non-pump action T4E pump action shotgun. As you know, this thing holds 16 rounds and it only shoots balls. I repeat, it only shoots 68 caliber round spheric projectiles, aka balls. Now, this particular one right here was a gift and it was sent to me pretty much uh, already nice and tuned up. Um, I don't personally know what exactly was done to it. And if you have any modification related questions, then I recommend uh, that you check out channels like Rune Rebel or Jeff from the Umarex T4E Less Lethal Home Defense channel or DK Spencer. I'll put all the links below in the description um, as many of their videos will guide you in detail through the whole process. And of course, there are brands out there like Home Defense 24 that carry a large selection of tuning parts. Anyway, this one right here is quite powerful as you will soon see. And today we'll use a nice variety of 68 caliber ammo from heavy steel balls, to lighter weight aluminum ones, PVC iron, and rubber steel. Made by brands like Home Defense 24, Riot Balls, and ASIL Selling. As always, you'll find the links in the description below as to where you can find all of this stuff. Sadly, I only have six of these very, very heavy 20 gram steel balls left, but let's see what we can do with them anyway. So the way we're going to do this today is I will load 16 rounds of each ammo in our HDB 68. We'll start off with the rubber steel balls by Home Defense 24. How do you load this gun? It is very, very simple. You have the spring right here, which pushes the balls into the chamber, which then shoots out of the barrel. Now to do so, there is a little lever here, which you have to lift up. First time it took me a while to figure it out. Otherwise, it just the spring just bounces back. So you lift up that lever as so you push it all the way down and you click it right there in place. So now we have a complete open chamber here. As I said, we're going with these rubber steel balls. You load them simply into the hole here. And 16. You then release, and we are nice and loaded. We will then shoot one shot through these four quarter inch plywood boards. And the remaining projectiles will unload on a coconut and on a can of SpaghettiOs. As always, I'll be changing CO2 cartridge every time I load new ammo. Today, I'm using these Umarex 12 gram CO2 canisters. Today, it is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's around 26 degrees Celsius, which is nice for shooting CO2 because, as you know, the extra heat gives the CO2 that extra punch. And this time around, we're also going to do some long range or different distance testing. That's what all these lightweight 
nylon balls are for. Um, originally, I was going to use this red dot sight that was also sent to me uh, by Home Defense 24, but the fixed sights on this gun are amazing. They really, really are. So um, I'm going to use them first. Should they not work out too well, then I will indeed mount the red dot sight. But again, all these lightweight nylon balls, uh, we will use them for a variety of distances uh, from the coconut. As always, my friends, make sure you do hit that like button. And while you're at it, do subscribe to the channel because you've been warned that otherwise you'll become one of these. All right, folks, two last things before we start. The first one is that we finally reached 10 thousand subscribers guys i just want to say truly thank you thank you thank you to each and every single one of you uh for your support which not only uh, does it help me to make more and better videos but it also helps with the expenses because as you know uh video production and especially air gun video production can be quite expensive so thank you so much and talking about money my friends allow me also to say a big thank you to air gun community for pitching in and helping out with supporting this video or with sponsoring this video rather. Um, Airgun community is a virtual community that meets up on Discord, an online platform and social media uh, to where you can find rich conversations divided in many, many topics, all, regor all regarding obviously air guns. Uh, and to celebrate today's partnership with us, Airgun community will also hold a $100 uh, dollar Pyramid Air gift card giveaway that will be split among four winners. And the winners will be drawn 10 days after this video is released. So do check out all the links below, become an Air Gun community member, and try your luck on that Pyramid Air gift card. And now, without further ado, let's go shoot some HTB 68. <music> For our regular tests, we'll be shooting everything from one distance again until we will do the actual uh, long range test. So as always, we'll be shooting from approximately six meters, which is 20 feet. All right, folks, as I said, we're gonna start off with these 10.9 grams rubber steel balls by Home Defense 24. Uh, they have a steel core and with a, uh, wrapped around by rubber. They have a certain weight to them. Again, they are 10.9 grams. All right, rubber steel balls at 297 feet per second. That is very, very impressive indeed. And let's see how many of these quarter inch plywood did we go through when well, we went through the first one stopped at the second one oh, look at that so this is the the uh, rubber casing is now empty so let's see what happened here so maybe the ball the metal ball kept going let's take this thing off Mystery of the mysteries. So there doesn't seem to be any damage on the third board, but also the metal ball seems to have disappeared, leaving only the casing. Very, very interesting. Anyway, as we said, one and almost two quarter inch plywood boards.
Well, folks, I'll let the images speak on this one. Up next is 10 gram PVC iron balls by Home Defense 24. Also, these are, uh, are a steel core with PVC around them. Uh, these also have quite a weight to them. They are 10 gram. Okay, so 228 feet per second, a bit slower. Now, what happened here? Um, I shot twice, but the chronograph did not register. So we are going to disregard this group right here, while this is the PVC iron ball entry, PVC iron now wow okay so indeed the balls seem to have stopped at the second at the second board i'm going to switch the sheets around i'm going to put the second sheet first and the first sheet second Iron PVC destroyed. Where's that can? Look at that. It emptied it out. Well done. All right, guys, I only have six of these 20 gram heavy steel balls. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to retrieve them and keep shooting them, but we'll obviously won't be able to shoot as many of them. Let's see how it goes. 20 gram chrome steel balls by Home Defense 24. Okay, obviously a lot slower, 124 feet per second for a 20 gram steel ball, which actually hit right here and then bounced off. So obviously we won't, that's old. Um, so yeah, it hit. It simply bounced off the first board. However, it seems to be to have hit it pretty hard. I'm curious to see how these are going to work on the coconut and on the SpaghettiOs. All right, well, these heavy steel balls, I was able to retrieve a few and shoot a few extra shots. I think I shot eight instead of six. Um, balls completely went through, penetrated the can here and did a nice, quite a lot of damage on the coconut. And now these seven and a half gram aluminum balls. These also are by Home Defense 24. Uh, quite lighter than the other projectiles. Let's see how these do.
Okay, seven and a half gram aluminum balls. Quite fast, all right, 274 feet per second. Even this one I had to shoot twice because on the first uh, attempt, the chronograph didn't read it. So this is the second attempt. Anyway, let's see in both cases how the balls performed. They went through the first one and stake barely dented the second one. So, oh, look at it. One is stuck <laughs> right here. All right, so that is the aluminum balls. Right. seems like I broke every single thing that is on this table, including the aluminum balls. Little jar. But coming to our target, we have scalped and perforated our coconut. And again, completely destroyed our can of SpaghettiOs. Up next are these right here. I'm sure many of you have seen these, uh, this type of projectiles, you, but I, I bet a lot of you don't know the brand. Well, the brand is called Acel Selling. It is a UK uh, brand that is very common, especially if you're shopping on Amazon. Now, these two are uh, very similar. Uh, they're both uh, 6.8 grams, more or less, uh, 68 caliber balls. They're both rubber steel. Uh, now these right here are the S type, right? While these are the regular type, the only difference is that the regular type has some extra steel powder kind of um, uh, sprinkled on them. But again, they have the same weight, around 6.8 grams. They're the same ball, so I won't be making any difference. I'll be putting them both in the same gun and shooting them together. And just like that, our ASIL selling hit 300 feet per second. And it went right through here. But nothing on the second board. Amazing, just a, a dent. And the ball stayed between the first and the second board. So in the board game, definitely, definitely uh, home defense is 24 uh, rubber steel balls, one. say a little slightly weaker these uh, rubber steel balls uh, these guys are made really made for um, practicing uh, for target practice and whatnot so it is normal for them to be a bit less damaging than your home defense 24 for example version uh, yes as you see the can is not intact at all but it has it well it even has some exit holes actually so not bad damage on 
on the can as well as the coconut. Not bad at all, I have to say. Not bad at all. Alright folks, here you have it. Rubber Steel Balls by Home Defense 24. The PVC iron balls. The aluminum lightweight balls. Our rubber steel lightweight balls. And finally, our very, very heavy chrome steel balls. That's the comparison for you. And now let's finally test the damage power of the HDB 68 shot from different distances. All right, folks, let me show you how this next test is going to work. I'm gonna shoot at three coconuts. Uh, I'm gonna shoot the first round of 16 balls, very close range, only from 10 feet. I imagine we'll do a lot of damage on those coconuts. After that, I set a second spot from 25 feet distance and finally the third and last spot will be from 40 feet distance. Let's see what happens. What's up buddy? We're shooting a video here if you don't mind. All right, well, from 10 feet, we obviously turned the coconut into mush. Uh, that was not surprising at all. So let's put it here at our 10 feet mark and move on to, a ne to our next mark. All right, next up, 25 feet. Oh shoot, shot the phone. Oh my God, guys. Oh no, this is the last thing I needed. I just shot my phone. This is where all the slow motions, the Ergon Alley slow motions come from for one year. Great. All right, well, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna continue with one phone without the slow motions and then we'll call it a day. So from 25 feet, we definitely had less chances of hitting the coconut. There were a lot of misses um, and also less damage. This is from 25 feet. Wow. All right, folks, from 40 feet now, the coconut is starting to look very, very small from here. And remember, these are very light projectiles, so by the time they get to the coconut, their force, their power will be quite reduced. But anyway, here we go. Well, folks, I missed pretty much every shot. Uh, the ones I did hit, yeah, did some damage, all right. So I maybe hit it three times out of 16, but yeah, uh, from 45 feet, definitely still some damage. Um, perhaps using the red dot would have been a better idea. Um, 
I saw the shots, I, I kept hitting very close to it, but never the actual coconut. All right, folks. Well, it seems like as of late in the latest videos, we were closing a bit with a depressing note. Uh, this time, this my iPhone, my slow-mo iPhone that I've been using this whole time is completely shattered. Uh, this is really the last thing I needed, but anyway, I'll figure something out, so don't worry at all. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Do click that like button if you did indeed like the video. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Should you want to stay in the T4E videos of mine, uh, do watch this video right here. It's the latest one I made. Should you want to see one of my PCP videos, which is uh, something that I'm really getting into, really enjoying PCP uh, rifles, then do have a look at this video right here. And I will see you next week.